Today I have a tutorial just to explain briefly in Adobe InDesign what character and paragraph styles are and how you would use them. So I have a catalog here that I've been working on and you can get pretty detailed with your style sheets, your paragraph styles and your character styles. First you want to open your panel. The way you get to it is styles here, window styles, character styles, paragraph styles. I usually nest them in the same panel just so it's easier to switch back and forth. And, and the way, the easy way to create it is just to say new paragraph style, or you can base it on a font and style you're already working with. So if for example, I like the way this looks, this type looks, I just go here, I go new, new paragraph style and just name it call it item header and you can see that it's picking up the character and then I could add whatever additional information I want sometimes I'll add a rule above or below depending on the area the type I'm working on or you might want to add some spacing or an indent I'll say a left indent I'll just put 0.0625 and we'll see how that looks Alignment, click OK, and my item header, the new style created is here, and you can see how it shifted a little bit because I added that spacing. And the reason why you would want to start working with uh, paragraph styles and character styles early on is in case you make a change or the client makes a change and says, oh, I don't like this font, then you're not going through this entire hundred page catalog trying to make a type change, change it to bold or something simple like that. And the way you would use character style, I'll just do, is if you have a copy that you want to change, for example, this would be more for a paragraph copy example. I'm going to show you. And I'm going to use the paragraph style I created, the item header. And first, just to show you that in, in order to reapply it, you click here, down here at this paragraph icon, and it'll reapply the style. And then if I wanted to make a change, for example, let's say I wanted it left, justified, and I'll go to my par my character panel and I'm going to increase the size of it to let's say 10 on 14. And I'll change the font slightly to medium. So then let's say that that's what I wanted my item header style to be. I can just go here, redefine style. And you can see here how it redefined it here where I had it applied. So that's very handy. I use that a lot. And then as far as character style is concerned, I'll just go new character style. And I'm going to say that I want it. I'm going to, I'm going to pick up this style here. New character style, item header. I do this a lot. Item header bold. And I'm just going to change it. I'm going to go to Proxima, Proxima Nova, Proxima Nova Condensed, and I'll make it semi bold, and I'll make it larger so you can see the difference. And whatever you change here will get applied in the character style to this font. 
Otherwise, it's just going to maintain the paragraph style. I'm going to change it to red. You can underline it. But those are the main, the main tabs I use. So I'm going to click OK and item header bold. And you can see that it picked that up. So I just use that the character just for different different words within a paragraph or specific words in a table. It won't pick up the character style, the line spacing and all that, but it will just change that one character. So it'll maintain the paragraph style, but it'll pick up the character style. So I use that a lot when I build catalogs and things like that. And I, I organize them and usually also use naming conventions when I when I create my character and paragraph styles, just so it's easier to, just just so that when you sort them, it comes up, it sorts them in a way that, that I can find most easily accessible. See here, sort by name, I sort by name. When I create, after I'm done creating a batch of character styles, I'll just go here and say sort by name. And you can see So that's my quick tip for today, just the basics of working with paragraph and character styles. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.